Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not real. Hold on. I gotta get my coffee. Yes. Oh, you wanted to restart <laughs> or just stop recording. My throat's dry. I'm not stopping nothing. Blooper right. radio. Hey everybody, welcome to EmpireCV.tv yet again. Another Wednesday is on its way. And well, I've got some books and we have got a lot of fun stuff coming out this week. It's actually a really light week for comic books, but that's okay because all of the fun stuff we have coming out this week is just monumental. So let's start with the books. Let's go ahead and do Action Comics. This is the continuation of the Morrison run with Andy Kubert coming in this time to fill in as artist. This is a one-shot, and we get the Anti-Superman League. They've got access to kryptonite. It's a base kryptonite that they can make any form of kryptonite with. Superman rushing against the time to, uh, to stop them, and he has the Legion of Superheroes on his side. Now, this is where I got some questions uh, with the 52 and the, with the continuity, because the Legion is in here. But in Legion of Superheroes and Legion Lost, they have clearly shown that they can't break the Flashpoint barrier. So, I mean, I know it's Grant and he doesn't actually have an editor, but I'm wondering if they're from a different time, if they're going to explain that, because he clearly calls them not Cosmic Boy, Saturn Girl, and Lightning Lad. He calls them man and woman. So it's possible they're from the future where they have already taken care of breaking the Flashpoint barrier. So Grant Morrison's run continues in a one-shot that kind of sets up the legacy and continues it into the far future with the Legion. Thought I had these in order. Okay, Winter Soldier. All of you Bucky fans, all of you Cap fans, all of you Brubaker fans, this is the continuation here. Bucky is technically dead in the Marvel Universe. In Fear Itself, we got an unceremonious death. One page, Sin rips his arm off, throws him a mile in the air, and he's dead. Which is kind of funny because it really pissed me off because this was another Brubaker character that we were heavily invested in that got killed because of a giant Marvel event. Cap got killed uh, in Civil War. The Bucky gets killed in fear itself. Well, thankfully, they brought him back. He wasn't dead. Nick Fury orchestrated the entire thing while Bucky was injured to get Cap back in the uniform and get him back in the uniform, um, you know, just in time for the movie. So uh, Bucky now has his own book. He's off on his own with Natasha. They're tracking down a bunch of KGB sleepers that are in the same... They were super soldiers just like Bucky, and they were sold... By, uh, by AIM, or I'm sorry, RAID was in it, so that's the radical idea uh, instead of uh, advanced. So Bucky is now tracking down some of the sleeper agents, and they're being sold on the open market, and he feels responsible, he feels like they're kindred, he has to do something about it. Brubaker's still on it, nobody else could take over, he is the only one who has brought, could have brought this guy back and made us love him the way we do. Punisher, just real quick, because you guys should be reading this, not about the Punisher. The Punisher happens to be the backdrop, and I think I've already said this, so I'll make it quick. But this is really about the people he affects, the police officers that are trying to either find him or help him, about the mob, about people left in the wake of his destruction. Really, really well done. Totes the line, not a Max title, but it almost is. That is a really fun one. Another one you guys should be reading, Uncanny X-Force. Remender is still going strong. Last issue, we got Psylocke brought back into the Captain America Corps. Classic, classic look. We're on Otherworld, and they're under attack. In fact, I just did the last one, too. It's funny how I have certain books I always hit, but they're so much fun. You can see Betsy on page two, so I'm not ruining anything. She's back in the suit. She's back on Otherworld with her brother, both brothers, Jamie and Brian, and she's there trying to save Otherworld from uh, an attack, while at the same time, Otherworld is doing their best to get rid of Phantom X because he appears to be some kind of threat to them. Speaking of Brubaker, we give him two shots this week. Fatal number two coming out. Uh, horror Noir. That's all that need to be said. We have plenty of number one left. I know they're sold out a lot of places, but whenever there's a Brubaker book, especially one that's on the side like this, like Incognito or Incorruptible, I get really excited and it affects my orders. That doesn't always work to the benefit of my benefit. We were doing uh, back issues yesterday, and I saw your note that said uh, it was an entire box of Angel affected by my love and it said damn you Ben Angel and that that was it but uh, buy more Angel uh, <laughs> Rachel Rising Moore's new book and we're on issue number five this young girl comes back from the dead 
and she doesn't know why. She doesn't know what's going on. Events start circulating out of her control. Other people are dying. Other people are killing. Some kind of magical influence going on. And if you guys have not read this guy, you've got to check out Echo. Echo is one of the funnest books that I've ever read. You can get it all in one big thick compilation or six small books, and that's it. The story's in, out, beginning, and middle. Wonderful. So Echo. Uh, that's it for the books. We've got... Um, Batman, or to this week, we have Detective, Batwing, Swamp Thing, Stormwatch, OMAC, Just Sling International, Animal Man, Red Lantern, Defenders, Fraction Guys, this is issue number three, good team on there. Fearless is still going, Amazing Spider-Man, Slot just doesn't seem to be able to stop, Uncanny X-Men, this, I should probably talk about this for a second, for all you X-Force fans who read the Apocalypse one that just ended where they created the environment that was going to essentially replace humanity and give Apocalypse a new um, people to rule. Betsy knows all about this, but she's on X-Force. Cyclops still doesn't know X-Force is going on. Wolverine's running it independently. So she brings in the X-Men because it's the big guns and X-Force is on the, another mission, um, which actually makes no sense because she's in the X-Force uh, as Captain Britain, but she brings in X-Men. She brings in the Uncanny X-Men because this is the Extinction Group. These are the big guns. She says to them, good God, guys, this big dome appeared out of nowhere and there's a lot of dangerous animals in there and things that could hurt people. So she takes the X-Men to clean up the job from X-Factor, which was kind of funny because usually X-Factor is the one that cleans up the job for the X-Men. So that was a really neat little twist and a conclusion because in X-Force, they literally just jumped into Otherworld and didn't really tell us anything after Angel came back. So, let's run down a couple things here. Uh, this is Yosaf Bridge. Comes out as a single poster, and you guys will know her from Serenity. You'll also know Christina Hendricks now, I believe Mad Men is where she's getting popular. Uh, but this is where we saw her first. We've got some bobbleheads, some Superman, a lot of stuff guys, Joker, Batman. Wonder Woman. And just because Revolution was never so cute, we've got V. How could, how, how could it not? I mean, come on. <laughs> that is just incredible. We've got Ice Trays, Batman, Superman. We also have a different version over there with different sizes. And we've got other fun ones coming. The one I'm really looking forward to is they're doing an ice tray with face huggers and with chest bursters. So how would you not want that inside of your cup when you're drinking? Speaking of drinking, Batman, classic, old school. We've got Mass Effect cards. All of you Bioware fans, everyone who is having fun with Star Wars, Mass Effect 3 is coming out. If you haven't played 1 and 2, well worth it. You can usually find them on Steam or one of those things for like 5 bucks. But if you're going to play 3, you want to play 1 and 2 because all of the information carries over and your character's legacy literally changes the way 3 starts. Mystique. Uh, Kotobuyuki, I believe. Am I right? Yes. Uh, no, I didn't pronounce that right, but you know what it is. It's Japanese import of Mystique. Looks great. We've got a Colossus. Marvel Selects. Yeah, I was not joking about how much is coming in. This thing is heavy, too. Not quite Abomination uh, heavy, but it's big. With previews with an incredible cover. Wonder Woman toting some sci-fi guns and blazing away. I don't know how everybody else feels about that, but I'm on board. And here is, this was the pleaser. When we opened the box, everyone was most excited about this. We have some action figures from everybody's favorite, Mario. We got Mario, we got Luigi, we got Wario, we got Toad. You know there's no princess. Um, you got Yoshi, uh, a yellow Yoshi, but yeah, no princess. That's really kind of odd. Um, all right, well, thank you very much, guys. I don't know if there's anything else that we need to talk about except, oh, God, I should have done this at the beginning. Good thing you waited till the end. This Saturday, the f one, two, three, four, is uh, our sale. Nine-year anniversary on Wednesday, the first uh, February first. The fourth is going to be our sale. All the information was in the email. It's on our Facebook and it's on our website. And take a peek. Come on in. We're also doing a writing contest that starts tomorrow. Well, if you watch this, whatever day you watch this, it might not be tomorrow. Starts February first. We've got all the information on Vision machine.net that's Greg Pack's book that he has kindly given us the PDF unlettered version of so the objective excuse me is to rewrite the script you don't have to read the original you can look at all the pages and do your own version of it 
We're giving away $100 cash prizes first place uh, and comics for second and third. Uh, $50 for second, $25 for third, and then we're also going to do some favorites um, votes by the uh, people who read it. So more information for all of that on our website and Facebook, and thank you guys very much, and have a great day. Thank you.